Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin and I am going to be joining the one mini sub please event. And so this is a pretty interesting event. I have what I, that's not the right hand. This is a hand I was thinking about maybe using, but then I realized I could probably run something better, which is this. So I grabbed these three or four actually, and then I grabbed my Gumpert Apollo S because there is one dry asphalt drag and a lot of the top hands are either using a 962C or like a 917. So to basically counteract that, I'm going to be using my Gumpert Apollo S, which is maxed out at 233. Then I have a 323 Super Forester for all the twisty off-road stuff, a 323 Super Forester for the drags, um, the off-road drags, a Mini Cooper s works GP, which is basically just my RQ saver, and then an almost maxed out 223 Super Impreza WRX 300, which will be maxed out after I record this video, but I did want to record this right now, so let's just hop right into it. Okay, first guy doesn't look too bad at all. This looks actually really simple. So we'll put that there. We'll put that there. That can go there. That can go there. And that can go there. I think this should probably be good. I also want to check that MRA on that mini though. But yeah, see, the 323 is going to help because we have engine traction bonus since it is maxed out. So it'll be a pretty nice RQ saver, especially since that Forester actually has really strong 0 to 60 for its RQ. Okay, and that's good too that the Forester does beat the JCW all four countrymen. I have it as well, and I know the JCW is also a pretty light car, but so same goes for the Forester too. The Forester is also pretty light, so that'll be good to know that the Forester does beat it, because otherwise I might have switched to the Mini. Now this is why I'm running the Gumpert Apollo S is for the one mile drag. I just got 198 points on it against an RQ77 Subaru. So instead I could have been running maybe my two epic Subarus that are max, but I'd rather run my legendary which then gets 200 points against my epic Subarus. So, oh we do have a common Subaru here. No, we didn't get it yet, but maybe that might be a new one. I'm not sure if I need, I'm pretty sure I need more commons. Um, that looks pretty simple. Alright, so let's see what the weight difference is on these. 1300 and 1016, so I'll probably put that there and that there. No, that is not the right drag. You go there, you go there, you go there. Also, another useful thing, traction control A and ABS, also on the Forester. So that'll actually be a pretty nice key car for um, saving RQ, because also a lot of the Subies don't have traction control and ABS that are at lower RQ, which is also why we did get a couple of points right here too. So the Forester is actually coming into use for being a car that basically lost every race for me in the Dodge Viper finals, but it'll actually be a pretty useful one now for this event. So my Impreza wins there, um, the JCW All 4 Countryman I also know is a great hairpin road car, but it looks like the Forester is better as well. So I'm really happy with having that Forester since it is a lightweight twisty car. If the Forester was heavy, it probably wouldn't be winning those races. And the Cooper wins here as well, which is nice, makes sense because we do have 5 more handling, and then this should be a pretty big win, yep, 126. So there we go, another 3 star, now maybe we can get that common Subaru, and maybe it could be a new one. I know I need the 360, that funny small car from Japan Pro Tour, um, but let's see now for this round. This also doesn't look like too much of an issue, but let's look for a guy that we can get a lot of points on, like this guy, yeah, this guy should be fine. We could probably get a couple of bonus points too, with that there, that goes there. That can go there, that can go there. So yeah, this should probably be fine. The two drags is interesting, but everyone does have to use four Subarus or Minis. And when it comes to Subaru, none of them really have good MRA. And when it comes to Mini, uh, none of them are really fast enough, because we don't have like the John Cooper works, well I guess I have this one, but like the new GP Minis. Except still, they aren't really that fast or have too much of an impact on the Subarus. So there we go, 60 bonus points, and hopefully we can win these next two races. Yeah, a couple of bonus points right there against the Lavorg, and then this one should also be a win because we have traction control and ABS. Yep. So, very nice. Two star now. Hopefully we can pick that common Subaru out. There it is, but it's one I already own, the Subaru Vivio Bistro. It's one I have maxed out of 323. It's not too bad of a car, I guess. Alrighty, now we got a one mile drag. That's an interesting choice that they went with the off-roader as the car from the different country. <coughs> ah. All right, so this guy doesn't look. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, now I'm 
That was weird. All of a sudden my throat just got really dry. But we're good. So, this guy doesn't look like too much of an issue. I wonder if my Impreza will win here. We do have four better handling, but the Impreza WRX STI is faster to 60. So, it looks like we will not. Yep. But maxed out, my Impreza will win, so and I'll have it maxed out after I record this video. I'll probably put the final fuse onto it live. That's a win as well, which is nice because probably because of ETB. But still, that Forester is going to be very useful. I definitely can get a ceramic pack from this event. Because so far, I haven't really seen any hands that would be too much of an issue. Yeah, Gumper and Apollo S gets a lot of bonus points there as well. And then right here will just be a loss, but probably by like 70. 69, okay, I was close. So there we go, into 8th place now. Um, nice, we got some more Super Refuse Mat. Let's see what the top hand is. Um, win, win. That's a bit interesting, but I bet I could get enough bonus points every anyway. Um, what about this guy? Big win, win, win. Then that would be lost, lost, but that would be a couple of points lost against the 962C. Now that's an interesting approach, having a Suzuki Pikes Peak. But then the rest of their cars are all very beatable. So I could probably beat him as well. And this guy I can also beat, but I do kind of want to see if I can beat him, but then I don't want to risk it and then end up losing. But I also want to try, but I kind of don't. Uh, cause I can get bonus points there. Alright, that's just a win by 50 though. And that's a loss. That I'm not sure if we can win that. So... Hmm... That's interesting, yeah, cause it's a slot test of rain. Or fast circuit rain, I mean. Now, how much are these cross tracks? Okay, so I can beat that. Can beat that. Can beat that. Yeah, let's try this. So let's beat the guy with the 962C because he's going to be a bit of an issue in the future. Um, so that'll lose, that'll lose. Then that'll win, that'll win, and that'll win by a lot. And so this should probably be a win. This race is a loss for obvious reasons. Then this next race is going to be a win. Yep, yeah, we just leave the cross track limited in the dust. So 116 points, wow, that's very nice. Then right here, this should be a win, which it is too. Those cross tracks actually don't seem to be too bad. Yeah, they don't seem to have too bad of stats. Then this is going to be a major win. Yep, 139, nice. And then this should be a loss, but by, I'd say, 120. Nope, 103. I was close again, but not as close as saying 71 of a 69. So there we go, into fifth now. At 5-0. And I don't really see any hands that could be too much of an issue. So now let's go to my, actually first, that's a sell, sell, keep, sell, sell, keep, and keep. Now let's go to manufacturer Subaru. Then let's go right here and you will be maxed out at 323 because I feel like the ultra rare Subarus are a bit more better at 323 just because um, they get a lot of rain use as well than compared to dry use, and I'd rather just have a Subaru that can win a lot of rain races and dry races compared to just be able to win dry races and lose all the rain races. Because then when it comes to everyone else who 323s or Subarus and then it's a wet Subaru event, I'm not going to be able to perform as well as I want to be. So that's why I'm 323ing it. Now then Super Rares 2, probably when the BRZ finishes fusing, then I'll put my next fuse into it, which is why I kept all those rares, because I did finish maxing out my BRZ TS. And then the next project will probably be the Legacy GTB Wagon. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully I can pull off a ceramic pack. I feel like I should be able to because my hand is one of the better ones in there. And maybe I can even go undefeated. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's basically going to conclude it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.